Greetings, YouTube. This past weekend, I found myself in a conversation with a commenter on one of my role-playing game videos, specifically the one that dealt with whether or not I felt that um, animating mindless undead was an evil act, whether the undead themselves, skeletons and zombies, would in fact be evil. I don't think they would be. But during the conversation, um, the topic of the animate object spell arose. And I discovered that the commenter felt that there were three objects that I brought up that were not legitimate targets for an animate object spell. They were a wooden chair, a fallen tree, a corpse. That the spell, in fact, would fail to function if you attempted to cast it on either a wooden chair, a fallen tree, or a corpse. I'm not sure who would make that call. I got the impression that the commenter thought that the rules themselves would make that call, as opposed to, say, the person running the session, who is the person in charge of making that call. But that's just me. This individual also seemed to be falling very heavily on the raw side of things, that zombies and skeletons are evil because the rules say they are evil. That's where it ends. Guess what? I don't agree with that. But it got me thinking about the spell animate objects in general. Maybe I'm alone in this. Maybe my interpretation of the spell is odd. So I thought I'd ask the role-playing community who watched this video. I have also posted this as a text to a number of web forums and to the D&D &D news group. Do you think that these three categories I have just mentioned, a wooden chair, a fallen tree, and a corpse, are legitimate targets for an enemy object's spell? If you do, why do you think it is? And if you don't, I'd also like to know why you don't think it is. But it got me thinking about the spell in general. Now, I can think of very few things that are more iconic than an apprentice in their master's laboratory animating small, meaningless things, you know, like a spoon or a cup or a candle holder, and making them dance around as part of their training. And yet, this is a sixth level spell only castable by bards and clerics. That seems strange to me. So I'm thinking of doing one of either one of two things. One, making it a first level spell which could be cast by wizards, sorcerers, bards, and clerics, that is scalable, so it would do more as it went up in level, or create a series of animate object spell, um, actually it would be animate object, uh, singular, from zero through ninth, each becoming more powerful than the previous one, much like summon nature's ally, summon monster, you get the idea. Uh, the astral construct is another good example, that is ability that scales from first level up, but also it's a spell point system. Either of which, I, I kind of like the, the zero through ninth spell option, frankly. I think that may, might be more interesting and more versatile. And you could actually build a specialized caster around the idea that they like to create animated objects to do their bidding. I think that's a cool idea. Uh, I, I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on that topic as well. Um, I'm going to put the text of the spell, because the text for both 3.5 and Pathfinder appears to be identical. I'll put the text for the spell in the show notes down in the doobly-doo, so that you can take a look at it for clarity. Um, so, I'm looking forward to hearing what you've got to say.